go to the next location, which is the house. I got three straps on. You want to anchor. You want to anchor your excavator where there's steel. You see, this is it's pretty, pretty uh, firm there. You see the neck of the arm, and then uh, anchor the end of the arm. And also, if you if your trail allows. I would recommend anger down here also. And I think I can do that too, but I think this should be good. This is a mini, and then you can also use this part to anchor down if your trail, your trail is capable of doing it. But I believe with these three, I should be okay. As long as I'm not driving too crazy. And these straps are over 3,000, 3,000 pound low. It weighs about 2,200 pounds. These straps are 3,000 pounds each, so it should be good, it should be good. Thanks to my helper, we got the excavator untied and everything. So now I'm gonna do a quick walk through with you guys. We got the ramp on. I'm gonna show you where to put gas. Actually, the seat pops up. There's a little bolt here. You can un unscrew it, and there's a lever here. Flip that up, and then you put your gas in there. This is a bridge and stretch and engine. You use gas. I didn't get diesel because I didn't want to deal with the, the diesel. Gas is not as strong, but diesel is a little more stronger. But it's cleaner, of course. And for what I'm using, gas, gasoline engine works just fine. But if you're like using it for, you know, if you're going for a bigger excavator, I recommend you probably get a diesel. But some small like this, a mini excavator, gas is, gas is uh, fine, not much maintenance. But now, um, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise, try to raise this arm up so I can get this hood off. And then once I get the hood off, I'm gonna untie it from the truck here so it can just drop right off or just slide right off or go straight down. So I got this baby to start for the first time here. You come here, Dylan. So you gotta, you gotta turn this on. So that's it. You gotta turn this on here. And let's sit for about a minute. And then power, turn it on right, and then it starts because it's got to have charge up or something. Yeah, put it to you. It's actually pretty quiet, right, Dylan? All right, so. Ah, here you go. Okay, so what I did was I move, I move the excavator up a little bit further. So I'm gonna cut, cut the plywood here. So when it goes down, it'll be aiming so much and maybe flip. So that's what I'm trying to do. Got my circular saw out here. I'm gonna cut it with the circular saw. And then also bucket closer into the center of gravity. So when I back down, it won't flip. So
button there here. Let's take it off here. Here, let me. But yeah, you can see that's the whole purpose, trying to, so when it backs off, at least there's a little bit of, it won't flip as bad. Okay, done, here it goes. Doing this so the more weights down there, right? Got it done, finally.